Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the U.S. Naval War College's celebration of the 246th birthday of the United States Navy. I'd like to open up by uh, sharing a message from the Chief of Naval Operations. Shipmates, this year we are celebrating the Navy's 246th birthday. The theme of this year's birthday celebration is resilient and ready, which speaks to the service, dedication, and strength of both our sailors and their families. America's need for a strong Navy is rooted in our past and has never been more important. Indeed, providing a safe, secure, and stable maritime system is an essential part of what our Navy does every day. We are not simply the keeper of the seas, but the keeper of the global way of life as well. We are the primary guarantors of peace, prosperity, and maintain the open flow of goods on the oceans. Through every deployment and PCS move, spouses often endure separations as we shoulder the day-to-day -day responsibilities of managing and running a household along with their own careers. While our ships and submarines are made of steel, our sailors and their families are the lifeblood of our force and at the heart of our birthday celebration. So today, for the seen and unseen responsibilities you all carry and for the daily sacrifices you all make, thank you. Happy 246th birthday, shipmates. See you in the fleet. See you in our sons. Ringing of the bell. Today, the Navy's birthday celebration encompasses the traditions of honor, courage, and commitment, the value of being second to none, and the sailors who are the very foundation upon which we have built the world's greatest Navy. As directed for the bell ringing ceremony, the bell will strike nine times to commemorate the 246th birthday of the United States Navy. Eight bells used to signal the end of the watch represents the end of the current birthday year. Sound eight bells. As we celebrate our Navy's 246th birthday, our history and heritage forms our identity, telling us who we are and what we stand for. Our core values of honor, courage, and commitment have been passed down from our founders who charged the Navy with the solemn duty to serve as the shield of our Republic. The first seal, the first real test our Navy faced was during the War of 1812. This war began at sea when the United States ships were ordered to have to, to have heave, sorry, up to upon the high seas and U.S. citizens were forcefully taken or impressed into the crews of another nation's ships. The great battles that followed proved the designs, I'm sorry, proved the fighting metal of our sailors in the cutting edge of our ship designs. These battles established both free trade and free navigation as critical national interests of our country, interests that endure to this day. The warrior characteristics of cunning and boldness exhibited in 1812 inspire our sailors of today's Navy as they continue to serve around the world. The War of 1812 served as a critical turning point for our Navy on this 246th birthday of our Navy. We have the honor to serve in the greatest maritime fighting force the world has ever seen, but we do so with humility, continuing to build upon the framework those fighting sailors forged before us. History teaches us that with great power comes great responsibility teaches us 
that from the great captains and crews who fought single ship actions in 1812 to the commerce raiders of the Civil War, from the convoys of World War I to the major fleet actions at Coral Sea and Midway, from the blockade of Cuba in October of 1962 to the riverine operations on the Tigris and the Euphrates, our Navy has boldly and proudly put our shoulder to the wheel. We have championed peace and we continue to shield the Republic. Here is to 246 years of proud naval heritage and many more. The single bell, ceremonial ninth bell, traditionally used to signal the start of a new watch represents the start of a new year, our 247th year. Tension, one bell. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our ceremony. Thank you for attending this year's birthday celebration. At ease. We will now uh, partake in the cut cake, cake cutting ceremony. Excuse me. Traditionally, regardless of location, sailors pause to observe our birthday by sharing a cake and usually a holiday meal. A sword is used to cut the cake as a reminder that we are a band of warriors committed to carrying arms so that our nation may live in peace. The first piece is presented to the oldest sailor in the command, signifying honor and respect accorded to experience and seniority. The oldest sailor this morning is Captain James P. Kitzmiller. <laughs> Sir? <laughs> Symbolically, the eldest sailor presents, eldest sailor present passes a piece of cake to the youngest sailor present, just as for years our experienced sailors have nurtured and led young sailors that will fill our ranks and renew our Navy. The youngest sailor present this evening, this morning, is ETV2, Caleb A. Fritz. ETV2. We will now cut the cake. Cut the cake. Okay. How old are you? Um, 20. Well, I got you by a few years. Okay. All right. <laughs> what kind of piece do you like? One and a quarter piece? Yeah. All right. <laughs> right here. I tell you, what you get on this side. All right. All right. Let's cut it together. You put your hand on the on the blade. This is my sword. I got my name engraved in it. It's good for weddings. I, I rent it out every once in a while. Should work. Alright. That's not what these. <laughs> it depends on who's. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Here you go. Thank you for coming out. Please feel free to come up, enjoy some cake and fellowship. <laughs> Everywhere I go as your secretary, I'm inspired by the professionalism and the drive of every United States sailor that I meet. Each of you makes enormous sacrifices and achieves amazing things on the surface, in the sky, and beneath the waves. I have loved the Navy from the moment I took the oath of office at the United States Naval Academy. That is a love that has continued throughout my entire service, from the waiting days of the Cold War to my time as an executive officer in the Pacific to my command of USS Bulkley after September 11th. At every command, I had the privilege of working with some of the finest chiefs, officers, and enlisted sailors in the world. They came from different parts of the country and different parts of the world. Men and women of every religion, 
orientation and background, joined by a common love of country and a determination to give back. My wife Betty and I know that Naval Service places extreme demands on both sailors and their families. We thank each of you and your families for all that you do. You have my personal commitment as secretary that I will do everything I can to make sure you have the right equipment, platforms, and training that you need to get the job done and return home safely. On this 246th birthday of the United States Navy, think about the chain we all help forge through our service every day. It is a chain that extends back to the sailing ships of the revolution, to the ever evolving capabilities of today's fleet. Our Navy has always been America's global guardian and always will be. Each of you writes the next chapter of our story through excellence, commitment, and diverse perspectives that you bring to the Naval Service. Let our history serve as your motivation and let the examples of the past bring a sense of urgency to our mission today. Whether you're wearing the uniform or serving as a civilian, be worthy of the legacy of all who served and sacrificed before us. The future of our Navy and our nation is in your hands. Thank you for your service and may God bless you and your families as we begin our 247th year. Happy birthday, shipmates. Shipmates, CNO Gilday here with my wife, Linda, to celebrate our Navy's 246th birthday. The theme of this year's birthday celebration is resilient and ready, which speaks to the service, dedication, and strength of both our sailors and their families. America's need for a strong Navy is rooted in our past and has never been more important. Providing a safe, secure, and a stable maritime system is an essential part of what our Navy does each and every day. We are not simply the keeper of the seas, but we are the keeper of our global way of life as well. We are the primary guarantors of peace, prosperity, and maintain the open flow of goods on the oceans. Through every deployment and PCS move, spouses often endure separations, as well as shoulder the day-to-day -day responsibilities of managing and running a household along with their own careers. So true, Linda. And while our ships and our submarines are made of steel, our sailors and their families are the lifeblood of our force and at the heart of our birthday celebration. So today, for the seen and unseen responsibilities you each carry and for the daily sacrifices you all make, thank you. Happy 246th birthday, shipmates. See you in the fleet. <laughs>